Welcome back to Flight Insight Test Prep. We're reviewing everything you need to know to pass your test. This is Private Pilot Knowledge Test Prep Chapter 10, Navigation. After finishing this chapter, you'll be ready to try the practice test questions that go along with the course. The most basic form of navigation is pilotage, which involves visually correlating landmarks on a chart with what's seen on the surface. Here you can see power lines on a golf course listed on a chart and seen from the cockpit. Dead reckoning is navigation solely by computations of time, speed, distance, and direction. It could be used to navigate when ground references aren't visible. The test will provide you a chart and ask you to make computations for heading, speeds, and time en route from one point to another. The E6B flight computer can be used in the test to help with these calculations. Direction is determined by finding the magnetic heading between two known points. So let's say we're flying a flight from First Flight Airport down in Area 5 on the chart to Hampton Roads in Area 2. The first step is to plot a straight line between these two points. The true course can be determined by lining up a plotter at the intersection of the course and a line of latitude or longitude. So we'll line up the center hole of the plotter with the point where the line we drew intersects the line of longitude and then read our true course as 320 degrees. Now we have to take account of the wind, which will require us to adjust our heading to the left or right to maintain course, and which will change our ground speed. We need to know our true airspeed in the wind direction and velocity. Let's say we're flying at 135 knots and winds out of 0, 040 degrees blowing 12 knots. We'll use our E6B to determine wind correction and ground speed. First, line up the wind direction of 40 degrees under the true index and make a mark for the wind speed. The wind is 12 knots, so we'll put the mark 12 knots above that center hole. Next, spin the wheel so that the true course of 320 is under the true index. We'll then slide the wheel up so that the red mark we made for wind speed lies on the airspeed mark of 135 knots. We can read the wind correction from how far to the right the mark is from the center line. That mark is 5 degrees right, meaning we'll need a 5 degree wind correction to the right. If we add that to the true course, we get the true heading of 325 degrees. We can also read the ground speed from the center hole, about 132 knots. We'll then need to adjust the true heading for magnetic variation. Remember that the chart has isogenic lines that tell us what the variation is in a particular area? This one is 11 degrees west. West is best, east is least. Helps us remember we need to add 11 to the true heading of 325 to get a magnetic heading of 336 degrees. Because the compass has errors due to fields in the aircraft, it has a card which indicates how much to adjust it for certain headings. Since we want a 336 heading, we'll notice on the card that a northwesterly heading requires a two degree correction. So we'll add that to the magnetic heading to get our compass heading of 338 degrees. This is what we'll actually want to fly in the cockpit. We can use the plotter again to figure out the distance and later the time and route. Make sure you use the correct scale on the plotter. The sectional chart uses the scale of 1 to 500,000. You can also make sure you're using the correct scale by matching up the mile marks on the plotter with the hash marks of the lines of longitude. Each one of those hash marks is one mile. This flight is 59 nautical miles. Finally, we can use the other side of the E6B to determine time and route. Now that we know distance and ground speed, if we line up the black arrow over the 60 box in the inner scale with the ground speed of around 130, we can then read the time and route. Over on the left side there, we'll find the trip distance, 59 miles, and line that up on the outer scale to find the time and route from the inner scale, about 27 minutes. URI 6B has instructions to use this too, written on the card for test day.